Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Refined Horizons. This is a short CAD tip video for CAD Management Weekly. That's the blog that my company sponsors on CAD management for land surveyors and GIS professionals. So in this uh, short video, we're going to just cover a, a tip, CAD tip, and that's uh, the CAD tip has to do with using groups when you need to uh, move or, or rotate or modify a set of entities as a group, but you don't need something as permanent as a block. So a group is just a way to um, kind of temporarily glue some entities together so they act like a single object. Uh, it's like a block, but not quite as permanent. And uh, I actually, so I'm running BricsCAD version uh, 2021. Uh, version 21 and I really like the, the way they have groups set up. They actually give you a little dialogue, which is nice. I don't think Autodesk does that. So um, I've got a drawing here on my screen and, and I need to, this is some, some line work that we have from a boundary survey and I need to uh, move and rotate it to some, some points here. So what I want to do is I want to group the, uh, the line work So I'm going to just name my group here uh, Boundary Line Work, and uh, I'm going to go, you can you can do an unnamed group, but I'm going to do an uh, unnamed group, and I'm going to select the entity, select the entity, so I just want all my lines, curves and lines, okay. so I'm going to go ahead and select those, and I could just freeze my points and window select, that would have been a little easier, I guess, but I'm going to do it this way, okay. And now I'm going to right click and you can see it creates that group here and uh, we've got it set to where it can be selectable. So I'm going to say OK. Now you'll notice when I click that it, it selects everything, which is what I want. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to move our group. Okay, and I'm going to move it from there to here. So put it on the node. Oh, I might not like this because it's a... It's a Kogo point, yeah. All right, so what we want to do is we want to, we're going to select this group, okay? So you notice when I grab that one line, everything that's in the group gets selected. And we're going to move it, I'm going to move it from this end point to the center of this point here. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate. Now I want to rotate that same group. And I'm going to rotate it from that same center point. And we're going to rotate it to the center of this point up here. So I'm going to take this end point. And I'm going to rotate it there to that center of that circle. Okay. And uh, now I've, I've moved that whole set of entities because it's part of a group. Now, let's say you're done with the group. You can run the ungroup command. And oops. let's try it one more time. Yep, it's giving me a hard time with that one. So let's pull up that dialog. Here's my group. I'm going to just say ungroup selected. All right, now I'm back to my individual entities again, right? So a little easier than creating a block. Uh, groups are pretty handy when you just need to, uh, you know, it's kind of like a semi, it's uh more permanent than a selection set, but uh, not quite as permanent as a block. And uh, BricsCAD has this dialog. You just run the group command. This is a really handy dialog that uh, they don't have in Autodesk. So uh, there you go. There's your tip for today. Just some uh, give you a, just give you a quick idea how you can use uh, groups in uh, BricsCAD. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I uh, hope to see you on our next tip video.